Okay, we're going to be adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing decimals. Okay, first, adding and subtracting. Adding and subtracting, the rule is, is to align decimals. So, we're going to align our decimals. So, this will be 9 and 6 here. This will be 0, 0, and 3. And now we'll make sure all our places are filled. The 1s, we have 9 and 0. The 10s, we have zero, 6 and 0. The 10th, so 100, so I say, we have 3, but no number here, so we'll fill that in with a 0. And proceed to add. So let's add. 3 and 0 is 3. 6 and 0, 6. Our decimal, 9 and 0, 9. We're done. Okay, first, let's align decimals for subtraction. And then we'll put our numbers in. 0. Okay. Let's make sure we have all our numbers. Um, we have our ones, we have our tenths, we don't have our hundreds here, we need a zero there. Okay, now that everything is filled in, let's subtract. We cannot take three from zero, so we'll borrow from the six, make it five, and this becomes now a ten. Three from ten is seven, zero from five is five, your decimal, and then nine here. Nine, nine, 0 from 9 is 9. And now subtraction is done. Now for multiplication, we have one place here and two places here. So we add those places together. So our answer will require three places. So removing all the decimals, we have a 96 times 3. I'm going to put it over here. 96 times 3. 3 times 6 is 18. Here are 1. 3 times 9 is 27, plus 1 more is 28. Okay, now we need three decimal places here. So let's count three decimal places. So start from here 1, 2, 3. So our final answer would be 0.288. And usually, I, 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 with the decimal, I fill in the ones with a zero. Okay, division. Division, we have our decimal, zero, and our three. And dividing that into a 9.6. And to move this over behind the three, it takes two moves. So therefore, to take two moves on the inside, we have to add a zero. So. The actual division problem that we'll be working on will be 3, the decimal here, and 9, 6, 0 with the decimal here. Okay, so um, 3 goes into 9 3 times. As I say, 9 is the closest thing, and the multiplier is 3. Subtract, we do 0. Bring down our 6. The closest thing to 3 is 6 is 6, and the multiplier is 2. Zero, and then we bring down another zero. The closest thing to three, the zero on the three time table is actually zero itself. So we have to keep going until we get to the last decimal. So we either call this 320.0, or if we don't use the decimal, we'll just say 320.